how to live economically as immigrants in Canada. Leave a reply. Indians moving into Canada for the sake of study, service are known as immigrants. This article claims to provide information for such first-time immigrants how to live economically while staying comfortably in Canada. Most of Indians feel that the life of immigrants staying in Canada is full of bed of roses, but it is not that show, as most of immigrants bears the brunt of financial instability due to improper financial mismanagement. This article claims to help such immigrants, as well as those persons from India aims to, to go to Canada must read this article so that they will find some of important information in order to update their compliance to deal with such strict financial situation comfortably. Only those immigrants who reach to Canada in terms of job to job transfer can only have the decent financial status. This article also showcases the life of an immigrant Canadian and how they face in terms of financial and social issues. And this article claims to provide solution to these financial problems which immigrants always face. Reaching to Canada for work. Permits. Visa is comparatively comfortable in terms of living financially. Everything is also there before they reach, as house rents all the other rents are included in their packages. They also receive extra money for reaching there. Those who work permit visa does not face any difficulties, as everything is all set for them before their arrival. If you go to Canada as immigrants with any student visa then you are at the right place find more and more informative contents in which article. The first two months after arrival Canada is most important for our environment of all your essential living standards. You cannot stay lazy for the first two months as it is the most precious time after you reach there with student visa. The first point is to find the rented houses so that you can study at the appropriate time without any disturbances. While searching for monthly rent of leased houses one should see the offer for accumulation of all the utilities beginning from hydro the laundry OTG oven dishwasher broadband internet and all those needful utilities that you would be requiring while staying in the house. In Canada they call electricity as hydro. During your first two months of stay at Canada you will need Canadian dollars for all purchase. At the beginning of reaching there you must have very less amount of Canadian dollar and for this it is important to begin the process of jesse of your bank account so that the money from India can be converted to Canadian dollar when you withdraw money from banks. Jig. The process of Jesse so be started the day you reach at Canada, because this process a minimum time of 14 days to 1 or 2 months. For sure when you reach Canada you should have very less amount of Canadian dollars, and if your process of Jesse approval delayed then you could have been such a difficult situation, where you will be bereft of Canadian dollar to spend there. So till the time your Jesse is approved you should spend less should have very little and limited Canadian dollar when you reach at Canada. Normally the approval of Jesse takes minimum for 14 days can be up more time so keep the limited amount of Canadian dollar with you till your Jesse is approved. After the approval of Jesse you can withdraw from your bank account in fact Indian bank account converted into Canadian dollars. In order to do marketing of essential commodities and needful you will need appropriate amount of Canadian dollar that can only be possible through approval of Jesse. Sin. Social insurance number SIN is very important for citizen of Canada as well as for immigrants. Reaching the dual life for SIN as it is one of most essential documents you will need for every phases of life you will be living at Canada. For every transaction you will make and for every purchase you will make. For treatment of diseases at hospital you will not have to pay any penalty for this if you have social insurance number. Without this number you will not get any job at Canada, be it permanent or temporary or part time jobs. Read online pharmacy via offline pharmacy. For every treatment you will get free of cost if you have this number at the hospital and you will not have to worry about payment but you will have 5 star hospital treatment for every diseases you face this means that applying for social insurance number is of most important in order to have the comfortable living standard and disease free life at Canada. So, my suggestion is that after reaching at Canada you will be applying for Jesse and social insurance number card so that for the first you will have worry free dollar transactions, social insurance number you will have absolutely free 5 star hospital treatment, you will get jobs beat permanent temporary jobs with these and you come for at least houses with these numbers. Behavioral aspect. Now you have Jesse and social insurance number so you can now apply for leased houses bank accounts temporary or part time jobs and leased cars. After reaching graduate school colleges do try to mix with all the students don't be shy over it, if you become shy then you will not find relevant but information from them. If you are introvert in India but you'll have to be open here otherwise you will not be getting relevant information definitely essential for you. They will not be talking to you at first but after talking to them you will find that the place to help you about everything and that is why it is important to mix with them so that all the information you get will be very much helpful for you in the future. Friends friends with people neighbors landlords classmates. With due course of time you will find most of them are very much helpful and their advice and directions it's really help you to move forward as you are alone far away from your own native country. Fresh go shop. Indians generally go for different shopping so different intervals for food and clothes. In Canada the low cost shop is fresh go which offers premium brands at low cost. Most of times the high cost brands from different shopping malls sometimes remains inside different shopping malls and those are sent to fresh go and those high cost brand products are sold up to 50% in the fresh go shops.
And in this way you can find costly products at very low cost in this outlet. This show that you will not find variety of offers in Freshco, but you will definitely you will find good products with lesser prices and in a foreign country this is what you want. Make a list of products what you want to buy and then go to nearby Freshco shops buy all the products which are premium in nature with prices reduced to half of its original price. For example, if you buy milk for liters that side cost you about $5.5 and in Freshco it will cost you 4 liters of milk about $4.5. This means you save $1 for daily purchase of milk. If you reach Canada during the month of January then you will face snowstorms in most places of Canada for this you require winter clothes and winter jacket from good brands. Generally the cost of good brands comes up with high prices and during this time Freshco shops are real time and money savers. If you go for winter jackets shopping in Fredco you will find that premium brands winter jackets will cost you half the price and that suits your pocket most. Read wide blaming it box alone. Winners. You can reach to Winners Shopping Mall, which collects some unsold brand products from different shopping malls and sell it with 50% rebate price. This two above mentioned shops provide defect free premium branded products with 50% rebates and that will suit with your purse and save all money. For example a premium brand winter jacket general will cost you $300, but in the above mentioned shops you can purchase it for $150. If you purchase a $150 original price jacket then it will not good, but if you purchase $300 premium branded winter jacket the price of $150 without defect then it will be a win-win situation for you. Part-time temporary jobs. Keep trying to get the part-time job from the day one. If you have luck you will get the job in the first month. Just keep trying for convenient part-time job. What do you also remember is that it is not the temporary job that is important. What your prime aim is to study hard how to make good marks and renew your student visa and fulfill your aim to reach for higher studies at Canada. Do try to get part-time jobs, but do not serious about it. Otherwise your prime motivation of studying very seriously to get a high salary job not be fulfilled. Work experience in India in various sectors are not recognized in Canada and for this you will have to start all over once again. Prepare yourself for better mentally and physically experience as you get from India in terms of work exams are not considered here. So you go for one month training at Canada on various temporary job related courses and get certified with it. You can go for training of for driving licenses and get experiences cover such as smart serve training certificate driving license certificate hashtag certificate security personnel certificate and it relates to private job authentication surcharge Uber and other vehicles. So complete all of these lessons and certificate authentication within the first month so that at the onset of the second month of your stay you will get private or temporary jobs to compensate your income. Take precautions during January snowstorm. At the onset of January you will find the event of eastern and temperature all around Canada reduced to minus 30 degrees. During this time will lead to cold cover such as cold jacket. As told you can buy the premium brand cold jackets in half of its price from the above mentioned shops. From the month of January you will find continuous snowstorms countries next to move to the out in the open very difficult. If there is less cold then it will be from 3 to 19 degrees Celsius which is also very difficult to survive out in the open or even one hour. If you have no car in Canada then it is advisable not to go out in the open during weeknights. Throughout Canada during weekends whether you are permanent or temporary job you will find leave during this time. If you want to go to some place with local buses then I will advise not to go with it. During Monday to Friday the bus frequency of local buses comes within 2 to 3 minutes. During weekends in Saturday and Sunday the frequency of local was converted into 1 hour. If you are at long distance from your home then waiting outside for 1 hour in this freezing cold winter is very difficult. So if you have no car then during weekends stay in your home be healthy and take rest so that you can work more from Monday to Friday healthy and fit than ever before. In reality it is very difficult to stand even 30 minutes outside during this cold even when there has been snowstorm from time to time so do not go with local buses during weekends and stay in your house and be healthy and fit. Always remember that extreme cold and extreme summer is very bad for human body as it is not prepared to tolerate all of these. So it is always a good idea to skip the extreme cold and extreme summer and stay with the four walls of your home. Read with the advent of a storm, not getting part time job then go for volunteering. Getting jobs in the first month house stay at Canada is very difficult. Those person who got the jobs are most luckiest people. Do not be this disheartened if you are not still successful. Till the time you got the job go for volunteering. In Canada there are many organizations provide convenience for people who wish to volunteer. They provide recognitions authenticate your performances that 